preparing for registration in Workday. Before registration starts, review and complete your onboarding tasks in Workday. Review any holds on your record. Review your academics tab in your student profile. Review Brandeis core requirements. Ask for permission to enroll in a class if permission is required. Request any prerequisite overrides and create your schedules. Review and complete your onboarding tasks in Workday. Onboarding tasks in Workday include student financial responsibility agreement, reviewing the university bulletin, reviewing your friends and family and emergency contact information, managing your privacy settings, including whether or not you would be like to li be listed in the public directory, reviewing your personal information, which is your demographic information, including your ethnicity and pronouns, reviewing home contact information, and completing the academic questionnaire for faculty ambassadors. Once you have completed your financial responsibility agreement, your other onboarding tasks will be sent to your Workday inbox. Reviewing your holds. Students with holds may not be able to register for classes. Holds can be found in both your academics application on your Workday home screen and in your student profile. This example lists your academic application's hold information. This example lists the hold information on your student profile page. Next, we'll review how to find this information in Workday. To find information about your holds in Workday, click on your academics worklet. Your holds will be listed in the center and to the left on your screen. To access the hold information on your student profile, click the cloud and click view profile. Click the action items and holds link and review your holds here. You may only contact the department that has placed the hold to resolve the hold. For high school transcripts, contact the admissions office and for, for student onboarding, contact the registrar's office. Review your academics on your academics tab under your student profile. If your AP or IB scores have been sent to Brandeis and you have accepted the scores, you will be able to find them on your external records tab. If your external records tab is not visible, the scores are not available to view in Workday. If you have transfer credits from another university, your transfer credits are not, and not, are not visible in Workday, please contact the registrar's office. To find these tabs, view your student profile in Workday by clicking the cloud and clicking View Profile and then the Academics tab. Here, you will find any transfer credits or external record scores Review the Brandeis Core requirements. The Brandeis Core curriculum focuses on five broad areas to strengthen mastery of academic, personal, social, and career, and career goals. These areas are the first year experience, foundational literacies, schools of thought, global engagement, and health, wellness, and life skills. To learn more about the core curriculum and what kind of classes will satisfy your requirements, visit the Arts and Sciences page and search for core requirements. Some classes at Brandeis require the permission of the instructor or department to enroll. These classes will be noted. On the Find Course Sections Brandeis list, you can see here that the permission and or prerequisite required is in a red box beneath the title of the class. To view the information on the course, click on the hyperlinked title or right-click on the course title to open it in a new tab. In the Eligibility field, you will see if the department requires permission from the instructor to enroll in the class. To request permission to enroll, use the link in your academics applications. In the prompts field, enter the academic period, the course, by using a keyword or the course number, and then choose your course sections and click OK. On the next screen, enter any comments you'd like the instructor to read, then click Submit. 
If you are approved to take the class by the instructor, you must still register to take the class during your registration period. The instructor is granting approval for you to take the class, not guaranteeing your seat in the class. The process to request a prerequisite override is similar. Use the same link in your academics tab. In the prompts field, enter the academic period, the course by using a keyword or the course number, and then choose your course section, and then click OK. A prerequisite override may be requested if you have AP credits that would allow you to enroll in a higher level course or a placement test score that qualifies you to enroll in a course. If the course section field is blank, you do not need to request an exemption. Please check to make sure there are no other issues preventing registration. On the next screen in the comments field, enter the reason why you believe you are exempt from the prerequisite. If you are approved to take the class by the instructor, you must still register to take the class. Again, the instructor is only granting approval, not guaranteeing your seat. To create a schedule, use the Find Course Sections Brandeis or Find Course Sections by Tag Brandeis reports to search for classes. When you click on the hyperlink of a class or open the link in a tab, choose the button that says Add to Schedule. You can add the course to an existing schedule, or you can create a new schedule. You will need a separate schedule for module classes and non-module classes. Modules are non-credit six-week courses. The module HWL1, Navigating Health and Safety, is required in your first semester. You will need to add it to your fall schedule. You will need a separate schedule and workday for your module classes. Pay attention to module start dates as some begin in the second half of the first semester. When searching for the module classes for the second half of the semester, you will need to search under module two in the start date within parameters. Tips to keep in mind when creating your schedules. Your undergraduate writing seminar will be listed in your current classes tab in your academic profile. You will be enrolled in the class in late June before registration starts. Keep the meeting dates and times in mind while creating your schedule. This is your first draft. You can make changes in the fall if you discover a class does not fit your needs. The course tag tool will help you search for classes by core or major requirement. Waitlisted classes will appear as 00 for enrollment capacity and list the waitlisted capacity. Waitlisted classes do not count against your credit limits. Tips to keep in mind about waitlists. During registration, course sections may fill up before you are able to enroll in a section. Full sections will have a waitlist. Add yourself to the waitlist for a section in case students drop the class and seats free up. To add yourself to a waitlisted course section, use the register button in the course section details. You will be added to the waitlist. You will receive a workday notification that a seat has opened up in the class and have 24 hours to enroll in the class. A seat opening in the course section does not mean you are automatically enrolled in the course section. You must still enroll. If you do not enroll when notified, you will be moved to the bottom of the waitlist. Some course sections may have a 00 enrolled capacity. This means the course section is entirely managed via a waitlist and the professor or department will register students in the class or notify students when they are able to register. Academic services will provide support for fall registration questions via the following. You may attend an ad advising webinar or meet with a Roosevelt fellow. You may also contact academic services with questions via phone or email. For Workday and ITS support, please contact the Brandeis Help Desk. For training materials and FAQs about Workday and information about registration and fall office hours, check the Workday website at brandeis.edu slash Workday. You can reach the registrar's office by phone or by email for transcript and other academic related questions. Student financial services can be reached by phone or via email for any tuition or financial aid related questions. <laughs>